Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and if you have just purchased a domain or website plan from Hostinger along with a domain and you are when you are trying to access your website you see this error DNS Pro finished NX domain it basically means your computer is not able to resolve this domain name so I will quickly show you how to diagnose and fix this issue first we have to go to the Hostinger dashboard you can access it from hpanel.hostinger.com and then log in with your Hostinger account. After that, you will see on the main page interface like this. From the left side by here, go to website, go to website list and then for example, I have two websites here. So in this example, I will use this website which has a custom domain. Go to dashboard here, then you will see a domain option here. Make sure that it only displays two things. It is very important. It should show connecting or active here. Only these two options. It means then your domain is already connected and you do not have to do any changes. But in case, if your website domain shows like something like this, this is a temporary domain. And in the domain tab here also, you will see it is showing temporary not connecting or active. It means you have not connected or purchased your domain yet. So to connect the domain, you have to click on this option. Then type your domain name here. Hostinger will show you if that domain is available in your account or you have to purchase it. If you have bought uh, any hosting plan for more than or equal to 12 months, then you will get a complete free domain name and the price here will be zero. If you have purchased any hosting plan or you have already used your free domain, then you will see the price for which you have to purchase the domain. Select the domain and then click on next, then complete your payment and your personal information details like your address, name, mobile number, all that details. Okay. And then it will be connected and you will be able to see it in your hosting dashboard. You can see all the domains purchased from your hosting or dashboard here in domain portfolio. Right now you can see I have a one domain active here. Once you have made sure that your domain is connected to your website, it is showing connecting or active. And still when you try to access the domain, it shows this error. Then you have to go to my website, smarthelpguides.com. The link will be in the description. From here, you will see a free option, check DNS records, click here. This website is completely free and you can check all DNS records. For example, I will put a domain name here. Keep this option selected, NS, click on find. This website will check your domain name with multiple registrars across the globe. Right now you can see all the Resolvers are showing a cross mark here. They are also not able to resolve it. In that case, you have to make sure that there is no typo here. Check your any spelling mistakes and then wait for 30 minutes. After that, you can again check. From my hosting or dashboard here, you can see this is a domain which is currently active and also connected to a hosting plan here. So if I check this domain right now, Click on find. You can see all the resolvers are able to resolve it and it is showing a green tick mark. Do not worry if some of the resolvers are still showing a red cross, they will be updated after some more time. Now when you see a green tick, it means your website should start working now. But still, if for any reason you are still seeing this error, you have to restart your computer or your browser or you can also try to visit your website from a different device. Like if you are using laptop, then you can use your mobile device and see if you are able to access your domain from there. So what happens is in technical terms, it is because of the DNS cache that is on your computer, which has still not been updated and restarting your computer will fix that usually. Or sometime you may have to wait for a few more minutes, like 20, 30 minutes, and then it should start working. Okay, I forgot to mention few more points, so I will quickly explain them. 
if after waiting for 30, 60 minutes still, when you use this tool and uh, you have not made any typing mistake, then you click on find, you do not see the screen ticks and these same data should be here, which is the default name server of hosting a ns1.dnsparking.com and ns2.dnsparking.com. If you see something else like godaddy.com or some other server.com, basically not the default hosting name server data. It means that your domain is still pointing to the pointing to some other uh, server, which is not correct. To fix that, you have to go to hosting or dashboard here, then go to domain portfolio. Okay, go to manage here, then go to DNS name servers and make sure the default name servers are correct here. This these, this is the same uh, default name server that you will see here. Okay. If it is not, click on change name servers and then um, make sure that if there is some other data here, make sure you take a picture or some other backup to reverse the changes in case required. Okay. Just take a picture or screenshot or something like that. And then uh, use this option, use hosting or name servers and then click on save. Okay. After that, wait for a few more minutes and then again, you can check the latest data from here. And remember the data change will require few minutes time. It can take anywhere between 15 minutes to 60 minutes or more than that in rare cases. Or if in your domain portfolio, your domain is showing under this external domains tab, so that means the domain is registered with some external registrar like CodeAddy, Namecheap or some other registrar. And in that case, you have to follow this guide or watch my other video. You can also check the video description. I will mention a video link to learn how to change the name servers for external domains. It will be slightly different for depending on the registrar you are using because everyone has a slightly different interface, but the process is same. You have to use this for, you can also read this guide and then uh, learn how to edit the DNS. After that, uh, the DNS is updated, then you can check back here and it should start showing the default hosting name servers. And if after doing everything, it's still not working, I would suggest you to please reach out to hosting support. They should be able to resolve your issue.